What are we doing today, Chewie? Well, I got a two different project. This morning we're gonna swap an axle to this trailer. This is the auto trailer. This is the one of those more popular company in Conroe, Texas. Uh, unfortunately, right now the company is down. But uh, I got this guy, he printed the trailer yesterday. He wanted me to put like an 8K axle right now under. It's got a 7K with two brakes on it. So we're gonna replace, put the axles and replace the equalizer bar, all this bolt, and check to see if the lights work everything. Maybe if we wanna put a new wiring on it. Like, make it like a brand new, second hand. Nice! So let's go start it!
What's the problem, Chewie? Tell me. Tell uh, tell the mind. audience. Because they want to learn from the master. But you hide it. You hide your secrets. And then they wonder why their trailer's wrong. He tell So what Chewie does is he puts the camera down and then he runs to the other side of the trailer. And he's like, hey Caleb, hey Caleb, come here, let me show you what's wrong with this trailer. And then he'll show me, and I'll be like, did you show the people that are watching this on YouTube? As well, he's like, oh no, I don't show them. I'm like, well, Chewie, if you don't show them, they're not going to know what to look for instead of calling and saying, oh, our parts are messed up or it's something to do with our parts, when really it's the trailer and they just need to check it out. Ready? Oh, yeah. oh you want to show us? Okay, let's yeah. see. Okay, just make an issue like this. Okay. So, the front haters, if it's supposed to be, yes, like 32 inches a second, right? Mm -hmm. This is 32 and a half. Supposed to be 32 center pole. Yeah, this is the more. Um, I mean, it's 30, basic. It's 32 and a half. Yeah. And right. this so one is 31. That one's 31 and a half. So, and the problem is this: when you get it to long distance between this over the 20, I mean the 32 inches. I mean, this is the equalizer. You make that travel like this, okay? When the equalizer bar is go up, the travel is longer, stretch more longer. If you, I mean, if you sprint, you'll have more space on it because this is like a 29 and a half standard. Screen. So that's what happened. In like this position, I mean, if you put your screen, this is the much is past when I uh, go to here. Mm -hmm. So when you make the travel up at the back side, that's what happened. Uh, so, so yeah, so if you don't have enough space right here, I mean, got a lot of weight in the trailer, they're going to be snug you. So you need to make sure that your hangers are always welded in place yeah, properly. It's going to cost you a lot more in the long run. Yeah, because look at this. Yeah, the, the yeah. spring is right there at the end. That's not a big problem. So are you going to cut and weld new ones? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that right now. He so said he wants to fix everything. No, but the only way we can fix, fix it right now and they make it cheaper is just put like a stopper right here on the back side. He does, I don't think he wants to make it cheaper. This guy got some money and like, he just wants to ride. And he's been buying it from us for a long time, but I know that he's the type of dude that he wants to ride. He doesn't want it easy to fix. He wants it to be right, I guarantee you that. That's how our customers are. They want. They don't mind if it costs more because they prefer to have it done right the first time. They prefer to have it done right the first time and have it come back. That's how most of our customers are. So like, they prefer to like this guy to find a long time. But I know that's a big pain. So I have to cut the fingers and... We need to cut it up the finger. Both sides. Both sides. Because this is the one that gets the issue. Okay, let's go see the back side. Oh, look at the box. The bushing. Ah, uh, still half good. Still half good. We don't have any issue when the vehicle actually is go down right there. No, no. Go up. You don't have no issue in the back side. You no problem on it. The problem is in the phone. So that's why the problem needs to snap all the time. It's Show me. Show me. Oh yeah, remember he was saying he was saying he kept breaking springs. Yeah, that's that's the problem. 
But we measured. I thought we measured. Yeah, we measured in the backside, but I don't check the front one. If you had any issue with the front one. Oh. But the guy came in, I measured him in the backside. Oh. Let's see. So we were right. Usually, whenever people are busting spring randomly or like breaking stuff randomly, it's usually do something. Let's face behind right now. Leave them all the way. Because right now it's. It's, it's already hidden. If you try to fuck in the bottom where my screen is, that's freaking bad operation by the time. Yeah. Get so a heavy stuff in the trailer. So the screen is shorter one. It's gonna be snapped at home. Yeah, it's already hitting back at the screen, making so it, it not, still got another inch. Yeah, so, not making it go all the way. Yeah. Causing a lot of force on this spring. Yeah, snap and that's why he snaps them all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you gotta make sure those hangers are always welded properly, huh, Chief? Yeah. Cut off the front hanger and he's about to redo it and put it back on on the correct measurements so they won't have those problems anymore with the springs breaking. Yep, stay tuned. 